Okay, today we're going to talk about arc length and arc areas of sectors. Okay, so first of all, let's see whether we understand what it means. Uh, Emily, what do you think we mean by arc length? Like how long the arc is? Yeah, how long the arc is. So is that same as like measure of an arc? No. No, how is that different? So let's first talk about the arc length. Okay, how is that different than like measure of an arc or something like that? Okay, how about, uh, okay, go ahead everybody, discuss with your uh, team. What do you guys think? Go ahead, everybody think about it. What, what's the difference, arc length and actually measure? All right, uh, Jonathan, what does your team come up with? How is arc length different than measure of an arc or something like that? Okay, good. Degree. Okay, so here, here's a picture, Jonathan. Can I tell you uh, that? Oops. In this picture, uh, not yet. Yeah, not yet. What do you think we mean by the arc length in this picture? Uh, the actual curve part. Actual curve part and actual distance of the curve part, right? I mean, I can tell you what degree that is, right? The arc measure, does that tell you anything about actual length? No, you have to actually figure out how long that arc length is. Because remember, you know, if you have different circles, right? You could have arc length, I mean, measure of an arc to be 90. Does that necessarily mean all of these lengths are exactly the same length? No, just because all these circles have arc measure as 90 does not necessarily mean they have the same length. Of course, if they have the same what, would they have the same length? If they have the same? same radius, then they would have the same exact length, right? So that's what we mean by arc length. Actual length of this arc, not the arc measure. What about then area of sectors? In this picture, anybody see what a sector is? It's the, okay, pretty, uh, Hannah, uh, what do you think? What do you think we mean by the areas of sectors? In this picture, do you see a sector? What, what do you think it is? Yeah, it's that shaded region. So this is how we describe. So write this down. This is the definition of sector. We haven't really uh, learned what a sector is, of a circle is, but here it is. Sector of a circle, nothing more than the region bounded by two radii and the arc of the circle. So as you can see, it's, that's a sector. So we have an idea in terms of what we mean by arc length and the areas of sectors. Okay. So write that down, I'll wait. All right, so then let's take a look at this picture. Uh, in this picture, do you guys see a sector of this circle? What's the sector? Which color is it in? Blue. Blue, okay, well you have to include the uh, arc too, so I should do. Anyway, then what is the uh, length of this arc in this picture? Is the length of this arc 60? That's the measure of the arc, right? So that's okay, but I want you to then think about, hold on, hold on, so in this picture, we're going to actually figure out the length of the arc and then the area of this sector. Okay, the area is in blue, right. the, the length of the arc is in red. Right, so uh, let's figure out the length of this arc first. Okay, again, the length of this arc is not 60 degrees. That's the measure of this arc, right? The measure of the arc does not tell you anything about the actual length, but with this, look at this circle. What's the radius of the circle? Five. Do you think the radius is going to be important for us? Yes. Yeah, that's important information for us to find the actual length. Anybody have any idea how to do this? Yeah. One person? No. Two? Three? How can you find the actual length of this AB if we know that the arc measures 60? I want you to discuss this with your team. Go ahead, everybody think about it. What do you think? So actually to figure out the actual arc length of this uh, circle, uh, length of this arc, uh, you need to figure out what first. How about... Um, see. Katie? The circumference. the circumference is correct, right? We need to find out the circumference of the circle. By the way, is it easy to find the circumference of the circle? Yeah. 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 What is it, class? 2 pi r. 2 pi r, which is then 10 pi in this case. You're right, it's 2 pi r, so it's 10 pi in this case. Now, let me ask you this question. Is the measure I mean, is, is, is the length of AB, the actual length, is that going to be less than 10 pi or greater than 10 pi? Okay, it's gonna be less than, because the whole thing is 10 pi, right? We have part of it. All right, how much of it do we have? That's the key, if you know, right? So, okay, how much, how much do we have? 
One six. How do we know that we have one six of the whole? Because yes, the whole thing is three sixty degrees, right? We have 60 degrees, that means it's 1 6. Now, everybody go ahead. You should all be able to figure out the length of this arc. Go ahead, I'll wait. Looks like most of you are already done. So, uh, Jilly, what did your group come up with? 5 third pi. How many people got 5 thirds pi? How many people agree with Jilly's group? You guys are correct. Because all you have to do is who can tell me the equation as to how to find this? Um, Nico, what equation did you use to get 5 6 pi? How much of this whole circumference do we have? If, we, if we're talking about the length of this arc AB? One sixth of it. So what, do you, what should our equation be? Or expression to represent this arc B? Length of this arc. Yeah, 10 pi times 1 sixth. That's the expression that it, right? Because we know that the central angle is, uh, right? 60 degrees, we ha right? This arc measure is 60. That means we have 1 sixth of the whole circumference. So of course, when you simplify, you get five or three pi. Easy enough. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. And of course, then guess what I'm going to ask you next. Yeah. Find the area of the sector is correct. Go ahead. Find the area of the sector uh, A O B. As you can see. Amazing. Oh, right, everybody try. I'll wait. It's very similar to this now. Okay. Go ahead. All right. What did you group up with? How about uh, Krista? 25 over 6 pi. How many people agree with uh, Chris's group? You guys are correct. Okay, who can give me then the equation for this? Shanna, what kind of equation do we need for this to find the area of this sector? Basically, how much of circle do we have? 1 6 of it, right? So, well, you multiply 1 6 to what? Yeah, the whole area of the circle. So, 1 6 times what's the area of the circle? 25 pi, right? So isn't that how we get 25 over 6 pi as the answer? Easy enough? Okay, so this is basically the whole idea of this section is to figure out, figuring out the length of the arc and the area of the sector, okay? So let's see, if you got this, I bet you could come up with the uh, formula for these for in general case. Here we go, okay? So if you understood the previous example, you should be then able to tell me in general case in gener generally, if I have a circle with radius r and the uh, arc of this AB is x, find the length of arc AB and uh, find the sector of the area of the sector. Go ahead. All right. Um, Brandon, what did your team come up with for the length of the arc AB if the radius is r and the arc measure is x? That's correct, Brandon. How did you guys get that? Can you explain to us? You're right. It's exactly x over 360 times 2 pi r. Right? Did you say 2 pi r or something else? Oh, pi r squared. No, that's pi r squared will be for something else. But it should be 2 pi r. Brandon, why is it 2 pi r, not pi r squared or something? Yeah, you basically are, are multiplying how much of this arc we have. How much, right? How much of this arc we have, right? x over 360 tells us. Right? How much of it do we have? We multiply that by the circumference. Okay? All right. Does that make sense, guys? Question, Hannah. You could simplify this, you know. 2 goes into 360, 180 times, right? But uh, I like to leave it this way because it kind of shows me that, th okay, this is part of the circle I have, right? And this is the uh, circumference. Yeah, it's fine to uh, okay. simplify. All right, then what about then the area of the sector AOB? Uh, that is what? Jason, what did you group come up with? Exactly, x over 360 times the area of the circle, which is pi r squared. Is this pretty straightforward? You're looking at the length of the arc, right? So it, this tells you how much of it we have. Right? The whole thing is the circumference, right? You multiply that by basically how much of it you have, and then that's, you, you get that arc, measure of length of the arc. And then here, this tells you the area of the whole circle, pi r squared. Thank you. And then you multiply that by x over 360. That tells you how much of this circle we're talking about, right? Kind of nice. Okay, so for tonight's homework, this is the basic idea, right? So knowing this, let's do some examples and see if you could do this yourself, okay? Let's, any question on this? Pretty straightforward? Do you yeah. see where they get this from? Yes. All right, let's look at some examples. Here's example one. It says, uh, if I have 
this picture where I have the arc xy and radius of r. Now they tell us, for example, 1a, the central angle x x o y is 90 degrees, and then the radius is 8. They want you to find the length of the arc x y and the area of the sector. Okay, in terms of pi, what does it mean in terms of pi, guys? Yeah, have pi in your answer. In other words, don't, don't, approximate. don't approximate. It means give us the exact answer, right? That's another way of saying exact answer. All right, and then of course there's B, C, D. Okay, they're all different cases. Go ahead. Everybody should be able to do this uh, without much problem because you're gonna leave it in terms of pi. Okay, I'm going to actually highlight this one for you. D. Look at the radius. It's 0.3, isn't it? Okay, go ahead. Everybody try. I'll wait for you. Okay, who has A? How about? Um, we will go with Leah. What did you guys come up with for A? The arc length, the length of the arc. I mean, and then the uh, yeah measure. I mean, area of the sector. Uh, the arc length. Uh huh. Is four pi. Four pi. Yeah, that's right. And then area. And then you got it. Sixteen pi. All right. What about B? Uh, Reagan, what did you guys come up with? Thirty-two pi and thirty-two pi. For B. Uh, not quite. It should be half. Oh, no. Pi over two and pi over two for both of these. Right? Okay. You do. Uh, right. So the answer is. By the way, for B, they're both pi over two. Are they really the same unit? No. No. One of them is actual length. The other is the area. So the first one is pi over two unit, and then the other is pi over two unit squared. Right? So it's just they just happen to have the same number for the answer, but. The unit is different for both of these. All right, uh, Grace, what did you get for C? Yes. 4 rad 2 pi and 24 pi is correct. Yes. All right, good. What about uh, E? I mean, D. Joshua? Yeah. Which will be, as a fraction, if you didn't use your ca uh, calculator, what would that be? It should be, how about uh, Madison? Oh, you do? Okay, did anybody get it as a fraction? Yes. Yes, Ethan? One over 20. One over 20 is correct, okay. Yes. So it's, it, it's best to change it to fraction and do it. You could put 0 0.05 pi, okay, same thing. All right, what about E? Uh, Nare, what did you get for E? I didn't get to eat. Well, hold on. Do we have a question? Do we have a question, Jack? Okay, it's right up here, the answer. Yeah, what's E? Uh, Narek, what would you get for? I didn't get to E. You didn't get to E? Oh, okay. How about uh, Jordan? I didn't simplify them, but I got 192 over 36 pi for the area. I didn't simplify them. Oh, okay. I got 48 over 12 for the Okay. By the way, for D, did anybody get pi over 2? Okay. Okay, the reason why you got pi over 2 is because, guys, what is 0 0.3 squared when you do the area? Is it 0 0.9 or is it 0 0.09? Zero. Okay, so that's why if you were to convert this into a fraction, which is what? 3 over 10. What's 3 over 10 times 3 over 10? 9, nine, nine over 100, which is 0 0.09, right? That's what I mean. So that's why, that's why we like fractions. Okay, don't put 0.9. 0.3 times 0.3 is not 0.9. Okay, that's for a lot of people. Okay, for E, uh, Leo, what'd you get? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it does actually become 4 pi when you simplify, right, Jordan? And then what'd you say? 16 over 3 pi is the answer. So go ahead and fix your mistakes if you didn't get it. Go ahead. Help each other out. These are the answers for the ones I gave. All right, example two. It says, now, they give you the area of the sector. They said it's 5 over 8 pi. And they give you the uh, uh, central angle. Angle AOB is 9. It says, now, find the radius. You see, it's kind of uh, uh, opposite of what we did before. They give you all the other information. All right, they want you to find radius. Go ahead, everybody try. I'll wait. Help each other out, guys. All right. So, what do we, who has the answer for this? How about, uh... Joshua, what'd you get? Huh? Five. How'd you get five? What equation did you use? You're right. Uh, 
What, what is your equation? Hold on, listen. Fast. Let's listen. Go ahead. You forgot? Okay, what does 5 over 8 pi equal to? That's the area of this sector, right? What should that equal to? Pi r squared. Should, should it equal to pi r squared? Not quite. Pi r squared is the whole circle. You need to multiply. Oh. Nine over three sixty is correct. So you need to multiply the area of the circle by nine over three sixty, right? That should give us the area of this sector, which is five eighths pi, right? The pi's cancel out, right? You could divide both sides by pi. Right? So when you solve, you get this. You get pi. You multiply. By the way, do you think it's always good idea to simplify? 9 over 360, that's 1 over 40, right? So multiply both sides by the LCD, which is 40. You get pi r squared is equal to 25 pi. Pi is cancel out. r squared equals 25. r could be negative 5 or positive 5. Okay. Okay, give me a sec. We're not done. Give me just a sec. Okay, now, so the radius is 5, right? Hold on. Okay, listen. What if I gave you this on your homework tonight? Ask you to find this shaded region. What are you going to do? What are you gonna do? Hold on. What are you gonna do? How about uh, Youngu? What do you think? What would you to What would you do to find this shaded region? Bless you. Yeah. Find the area of the sector. Hey guys, do you know how to find the area of the sector? And subtract that from what? What do you get when you do that? You should get two pi minus by nine by three. Does that make sense? That's what we're doing. Have a good day, guys. Thank you. Thank you.